Hello my beautiful community, it's Psychic D again here to deliver this week's Psychic Guidance delivered directly from Spirit because they always know what we need for this week. So what is it? We are going from the 5th to the 11th of April today. I hope you all had the most amazing weekend ever. Happy Easter to you all. We're not big celebrators, so to speak, of Easter, but it was nice to have some time off, that's for sure. Spending time with family, eating some good food, you know, all that good stuff. Let's just say our Easter eggs didn't make it uh, through the first 24 hours, but I'm sure a lot of you can um, empathize with that. So, as you all know, my name is Psychic D. The psychic guidance I'm about to give you is for the Universal Mass Conscious Collective Energies on my channel. So, that represents those who subscribe, comment, watch, invest any type of energy into this channel. So, the information that I will receive will be very general. So, please only take, please only take what you need. If it doesn't fit you or it doesn't suit you, that's okay. You can leave it alone. I, I am a psychic, so I have the ability to predict future outcomes for people. But the thing I specialize most is, is in providing the guidance and the tools and the strategies and the energy shape-shifting things that you can do to help um, you manifest everything that you, you desire. So nine times out of 10, these readings are very guidance-based. But if there are some specifics and you can take them, then by all means, take it. We don't do bad stuff here. If Spirit does put out a little bit of a keep an eye out, they'll show me a red flag. Don't get them very often, but they do come up. So I thought I'd just mention that. And um, I will be reading from the Moonology, which will tap me into the Mass Conscious Universal Energy. I uh, will be reading the Tarot, which is my fortune telling prediction tool. And then we'll follow it up with some Oracle cards, which offer you some nice healing messages nine times out of ten they all complement each other so i've already had two cards pulled out please know if you want to book a private reading with me you can all of my details are in the about section all you need to do is jump over to my website and um, you can book directly through there or message me if you want to do it privately offline all right spirit can you use all my senses safely securely and for full protection to offer my community whoever is meant to see this message some guidance for the week ahead we just had like four fly out so we'll take all those <clears throat> all right so we got communication is key so I got this earlier today anyway because I did a few email readings before I jumped on to do this reading um, communication is going to be really highlighted this week so please be mindful about the way that you do communicate with others this is actually a really good time and period this week to clear the air so to speak to get on the same page with somebody to express to others how you may be feeling um, any in any area really where communication is really important but they go I feel like a lot of people's throat chakras may be a bit blocked at the moment so if you do have a sore throat or you feel like there's a bit of a lump there or something and there's no medical reason why that'd be your throat chakra so your spirit is um, encouraging you to take some time out to you know communicate if you can't verbally communicate please just write it down you don't always have to express yourself in a verbal manner. You can communicate on paper, send that email, send that text, do whatever you need to do that will help you bring some sort of peace and, and um, what's the word they're trying to give me? Uh, clo uh, not closure, oh, balance, I suppose. Balance into your life. So yeah, just remember this week, communication is key. So watch the manner in which you communicate. Always try to communicate with love and understanding. We got this again, the energy is gaining momentum. I think I did this on my live, on my Facebook page. It's basically telling us that it's not just this week, it's across the board, it's moving forward as a whole. Be mindful about what you're putting out there. If you're putting out there negative, less than, lack type vibrations, then that energy is gaining momentum and you have the potential of creating outcomes for yourself that really won't serve your purpose. But if you are putting in the work, you're trying to um, wake up on um, the right side of the bed and you're doing some daily practices like your um, 
you know, your rampages of appreciation and your gratitude and you may be paying it forward and doing random acts of kindness to others. Whatever it is, if it's on a, obviously a higher vibe level, please know that that energy is gaining momentum. So you really need to do a self check this week to see where your energy is going. So when I talk about energy, I talk about your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, your physical actions, all that sort of stuff, but most of all your intention. Because sometimes we can do things and we think it's, um, you know, for a positive intention and it still sometimes can go pear-shaped. So just make sure that your thoughts and feelings are in alignment this week. And if you do need to communicate anything with anyone, just to, just to clear the air, so to speak, this week is a great time to do that. I've got a feeling if you are intuitive like me, this week may be a little bit up and down for you, especially the empaths because there, there seems to be on a, on a 3D level, a lot of, um, ex, ex, oh, what are they trying to say, ex, exposures or, I, um, yeah, I want to say the word exposure, but it's kind of like a lot of stuff coming to light, um, being illuminated. Some of this may catch you off guard because I feel like I'm not expecting this. But whatever it is for you, make sure that you handle all your life experiences um, from the highest possible level of vibration that you can. A fiery climax approaches. This is why they pulled out the communication card straight up. Um, at the end of the day, life is a choice. So if someone's coming at you or attacking you or verbally having a stab or whatever, just remember that always that in those moments, you still have a choice whether you're going to retaliate and become revengeful and spiteful and turn that conversation into a tit for tat sort of thing with no sort of closure. Or you can stand there and just really like, you can hear them <laughs> and listen to them, but it doesn't mean that you need to retaliate. Sometimes people just need to release things and unfortunately we're the ones that it gets targeted at and that's okay. But just, just be mindful that the biggest red flag I'm getting this week is through communication and that you don't t um, turn things into a tit for tat situation, especially if you're someone who likes to jump online and have a, have a comment or opinion on every single post that someone puts out there. That, that could be something as well. It can be in real life relationships or whatever. Uh, some, some things from the past may be coming back because I feel like this week is all about clearing the air. It's about clearing the air. Finding balance, finding stability, getting something off my chest, just just getting an answer so I can move forward, or something something along those um, along that nature. So yeah, if you do end up finding yourself on the receiving end of some fiery fiery behaviour, um, you use your discernment and just remember that your own health and well being is of utmost importance. So try not to retaliate. Uh, if you're the one that feels like there's something coming up, I'm going to turn into a volcano and tell everybody what I really think and feel. We would re really encourage you to either talk to a friend about it or uh, release it by journaling or doing something constructive rather than going on a massive rant, rampage like a raging banshee and, you know, it's just not going to serve anyone's purpose. But that's, that, that's kind of like a potential um, this week because I feel like they're telling me there's a lot of backed up energy behind this. So once again, if there's backed up energy, you need to release it because just remember whatever you're putting out there is gaining momentum. So we want it to be good for you. And we got hold your vision. So if you do feel like you get a little bit stuck, a little bit disorientated, a little bit iffy, you know, you don't know whether you're Arthur or Martha and it's all, all over the place or whatever, always make sure that you make the positive choice to yourself to come back and, and, and remind yourself of the reasons why you're doing something. Because I've got a feeling like there's... A, some people want to give up this week. Like, like they may feel like it's all getting too hard or I'm not seeing the results or something. I just feel like I'm putting in all this positive. It's, it's like that two step forward, one step back sort of mentality. But they're saying, please hang in there, hold your vision. I'll, I'll pull a couple more of those actually because that feels incomplete. So hold your vision, R remind yourself about who you are, where you're going, what you want to do, the next best logical step for you. Remember, life is still all about you, but I do feel like there may be some contrast coming from external sources this week as people on their own individual level try to clear the air, so to speak. So be kind, be nice, first and foremost to yourself, but especially to others because everyone's got their own shit they're going through. Uh... 
Um, yep, new cycle is coming. There you go. We are all, oh, I keep saying it and I've said it in every video because what I'm going to do now is now I'm getting consistent with these videos. It'll start being like a story timeline. This is coming at the end of April, so you don't want to miss this boat. Please remember that what you're putting in over the next couple of weeks is gaining momentum, whether it's positive or negative. Your outcome is your outcome. You're the creator of your own reality. And if you do need to release uh, something, do it in a constructive way. Make sure that you use positive communication skills. If you've got nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. And really avoid going into that tit for tat energy and you are good enough. So a lot of you are just building up your self-esteem, your self-worth, all that sort of stuff to this week. So make sure you pay attention to what your soul is calling for you to do. All right, let's get into the tarot. Spirit, can you give us something juicy? Oh, okay. Um, just give us something that you feel that we need to know for this week or beyond. Yes, yeah, some of you need to stand your ground on something. That's the, I suppose that's the opposite of tit for tat, isn't it? It's about standing your ground. If you know that you're right in something and you want to stand in your conviction, stand your ground. But it doesn't mean that you have to fight to be right. Should put that on a t-shirt, eh? Um, that's not what it's about. It's about just saying, look, oh, we're just going to have to agree to disagree on this one because I feel this way and you clearly feel and, um, you know, see it in that way. So we're just going to have to agree to agree. Find that balance for yourself because you've got to look after yourself first, but stand your ground. If you stand your ground, this new start that's coming will usher in for you. I, I feel like I'm getting a lot of pains in my chest and stuff. So there must be a lot of people who are holding on to something that's not, ha hasn't provided them with closure, so to speak, or the ability to just go, to, to move forward in some way. This is what makes it hard sometimes reading mass conscious because everyone's different. But um, Spirit wants you all to know that this week, if any sort of communication comes up, um, it's up to you how you handle it but to avoid the tit for tat, which is totally useless for both parties involved, we would really encourage you to stand your ground, agree to disagree and move forward from there. If they wanna carry on, that's up to them. It's their life, their journey, whatever. But for you as an individual, you are hearing it here first that we just say, I'm gonna stand by, stand my ground. I believe in what I'm saying. And um, they, they said that's actually gonna be very personally empowering for so many of you, so. Yeah, they just said that's the next best step. It, it's it's standing your ground without getting cocky or ego. It's standing your ground this week, which is going to help you usher in this brand new beginning. That's what they're saying. I'm also seeing a lot of um, wounded warriors stepping up into their power as well. Um, I'm mean, also seeing contracts being signed, the possibility of contracts being signed or legal matters being sorted. I don't personally like going into medical or legal stuff because even if spirits show me, you're still messing with people's lives and I don't, I just choose not to go there, but um, for them to give it to me, a lot of you are going to take a step, um, step forward because they're saying follow your faith, that you're going to follow your faith and step forward in something. Most of you are still cutting out the bullshit, you know, not having people stand over you, talk down to you. It's time to rise up. No one is better than you in this life. You need to know that. No one is more superior. You know? Yeah, here comes here comes this hard, fast energy that's coming in. They told me once again around the 26th, 27th of April. So just take that as you wish. But the chariot to me, and once again, I don't read the tarot cards. I'm reading the energy that Spirit are providing for me and the images and the senses and all that sort of stuff. It's This is, you're going to have a big choice to a big choice to make somewhere. Oh. Yeah, whatever this is, it's gonna happen really fast. It's kind of like, here I am on Thursday going, oh, my life's so rosy and I'm just doing this and I'm just doing that. And the next minute Friday, I've got a massive decision to make. That's how it feels. It's like, it's like a day in between. Whatever this is, it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. It's, it's something, it's an opportunity that's coming to many of you to help you move forward. But please use this time between now and the end of April, and let's get started on, the, on it this week, where you start communicating your desires a bit more, com communicating your needs to others. Let's get a little bit more constructive and adult and mature and alignment with self to start, A, telling the universe what we want 
and having our faith and keeping our faith that what we know and want as individuals is right for us. Don't allow other people to deter you. The saying, blow your own horns. <laughs> so that's my symbol and sign for, you know, per perk yourself up a little bit, you know, sit down and make a list of all the things that you really love and um, are grateful and are proud of yourself for. That will help the energy as well, but make sure that you oh, the communication is the biggest part because some of this communication can come left field for some some people that you're not expecting it. Um, we've got the lovers card too. So bring love into all your situations this week. I know sometimes it's hard when you've got a build up of um, anger and resentment and you know, when things just, especially the cycles that are still going. I've been doing a lot of readings for people over the last week and, they're, and they've been going through a very similar or same situation for years. Like this isn't just a, um, you know, this happened last month and help me sort it. This is years and years and years worth of stuff. So please, if you aren't getting any professional help or anything like that with your thing, bring love into the situation. I feel like love is coming in for the end of month, um, end of April too. It should be coming in all the time, but I'm reading mass conscious energy. So because of the fear that COVID and the distance is put between some partners and the distance is put between families and all that, it has developed a universal energy of disconnect. So spirit are just saying find ways and means and just show appreciation the fact that your loved ones are still here and that you can still get on. There are still ways and means for you to communicate with them. So please bring love into the situation. Avoid the fights and the conflicts and stop looking at the, at the world like it's broken and falling apart. Nothing's going right, wrong. Everything's going right. But it's up to you to communicate what that rightness is for you and to stand your ground in your conviction of what it is that you want and desire. Some of you may, um, if you're single, some of you may attract love into your life, so a new love interest or not. Some may rekindle um, love from the past. If that's the case, they just pop me back to the communication side. Make sure you communicate real well before you do. And yeah, I feel like this love is coming anyway on a universal level. That one just flew out. Yeah, baby. Opportunities coming in and you will have to take a leap of faith. It's coming. This is part of this momentum. I don't feel like it's quite here yet for the majority of you, but it's coming. It's on its way. It's kind of like I've gone from a barren desert to a flowing oasis. This is how fast that some of your lives are going to change. But like I always say, your life will be a product of what you put out there for it to be. You are the creator of your own reality, but please know that there's an opportunity coming in for so many of you. And it is actually really, really exciting. Like the energy of it, I feel like, I, like you can see I'm smiling and um, it's just an opportunity to do something new, they said. It's an opportunity to do something new. So if you, if you, if you feel feeling a bit restless at the moment and you wanna try something new, please know that there's an opportunity coming for you to do that. Some of you will chase this offer or some, some of you will have it offered to you. It's going to be different for everybody, but it's coming. It's coming. So bring that on, yeah. Um, a lot of you may be swept off your feet. My nose is starting to itch, so spirit are getting real close. But um, follow your intuition when it comes to relationships. I feel like some of you may have a few to choose from. Lucky you guys. Uh, it depends on what you're asking for. Let's, let's, let's just keep this broad because it is a mass conscious reading. Whatever you've been asking the universe for, whatever cup you want filled in your life, whether it's emotional, financial, relationship, whatever it is, love, um, that's the cup that's going to get topped up first. Because they just said to me, it's dependent on what they're asking for. We hear what you're asking for, but now's the time to get out of your own way, focus on yourself. Um... Learn how to communicate effectively. Take a chance, stand your ground. Always choose love or the next best feeling to love. If you can't reach love's a big thing. So, you know, sometimes just finding acceptance in something. Anything better than tit for tat, fighting, arguing, miscommunication, 
and and just as long as you stand your ground this week that's the most important thing look at that if you do there's a triumph there's a triumph if some of you stick your ground and you keep following your own path regardless of what people say and do around you this victory is so feels so big to me that you're actually going to attract a whole new vibration of people and supporters and um, encourages I feel like some of you are really basically it's like if I was to pick up my stuff now move to England and there's a whole new a whole new scope of people whole new experiences that's what it feels like to me we're not saying you have to do that but I'm, that's just a feeling that I get the fact that it is really out with the old and in with the new so go easy on yourselves wheel of fortune baby everything's coming together to me, the Wheel of Fortune is that you're finishing a cycle. An old cycle is finishing and a new start is coming. It's going to be different for everybody because everyone's putting in a certain level of their own energy. But for the Wheel of Fortune for me to come up, I feel like I've cut through the bullshit. I've, I've disconnected from things, people, places that don't serve my purpose. I've been actively sitting, just enjoying the peace and quiet, telling the universe what I want and why I want it and how good it feels to me. And the only time I ever look back in life, I did a post on my Facebook post, um, page just now about this, about the only time that you look back is to tap into the good feeling experiences and that of your past so you can create more of that in your future. Um, so yeah, cutting things out. Um, show me a feel like um, a breaking of the tug of war if you've been experiencing the tug of war that that's about to break and then it's just all this stuff's just going to usher in it's it is it's like when you see two teams um having a tug of war and one lose side of the rope and they fall down and oh that's so stupid such a stupid analogy but can't change it now <laughs> But, it, but maybe that's just a sign of releasing the resistance as well, releasing the baggage, releasing the things that don't serve you. Because for us to get the six of the six of wands, the wheel of fortune, a new start is coming. New relationships and being swept off our feet by relationships or opportunities to me. There's a big contract signing that's possible coming up. I, I just, I can't look at that card without going contract, contract, contract. I feel like this new start, new beginning is going to happen very abruptly. So it's got to happen within an, at least the next three weeks. So you still have time to adjust your energy and vibration into what you want. Whatever this is, is um, you're going to be provided with an opportunity or create an opportunity for yourself that's going to require you to take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith into the unknown so that's kind of exciting some of you should you use your communication skills really well you may reconnect with people from the past you may you may find yourself in a love triangle but i don't like to go there <laughs> um or to just to bring love into the situation in all things in your life so that's totally up to you but most of all most of all this week we are encouraging you to pay close attention to your communication skills more so how you communicate with yourself your internal dialogue because what you're telling yourself what you're thinking believing and feeling is what you're putting out to the universe and that's what you're going to get back and we're not meaning to scare you but you know the energy is gaining momentum so whether it's a story of what you don't want or what you're missing or what you're lacking or whether it's what's coming what i'm excited for what i'm anticipating what i'm creating it's coming it's coming and i got that if you want to check out my facebook page um on the live i did there last week that may it will back what what we are saying up here as well so do i have any more in the tarot spirit any more in the tarot yeah so the only thing we got to watch out for we got the hangman and the four of swords that's indecision and and not doing any forward kind of energy work so i am reading for two different energies i've got those who feel stuck i never say stuck because i always feel like it's only resistant but some of you do still have to make some some more like you need to take the time out to ground yourself and make some solid choices about what you want and why you want it and if you struggle with that just go into the feeling space of what it is. I want to feel stable. I want to feel secure. I want to feel loved. I want to feel unconditionally loved. I want to feel excited. 
I want to feel passionate about something again. I want to go on an adventure. I want to be surprised by something. I want to find a good book. And, and as you start doing all that sort of process, your natural intuitive system will start popping out all these other little things. They could be an idea. It can be a solution. It can be your next best logical step. It's going to be different for everybody. But until you take the time to sit down and work, work out what that is for yourself, you may never know. But the great thing is, is that like, like the Wheel of Four, I love it. Love it. Karmic rewards. You're going to get something's going to pay off for us. Something's going to pay off whether it's an opportunity, a new love, money, abundance, whatever cup you're asking the universe to be filled up first, it, that's what's going to be filled up for you. So only you know what that is. It's coming. The energy is gaining momentum. Dreams and desires are coming true. It's all very exciting. So I hope you are actively participating in your own life. And if you don't, then reach out, get a reading. Be inspired by those who have done it before you. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So we've got soulmate relationships. So a lot of you will be... Soulmates don't ha always have to be intimate. These can be friendships, family, mem um, family members, um, best friends. They can be lovers. But... Um, it says new romance with the spiritual basis is here for you now. So it depends on what you're asking for. If you're asking for love, um, you can possibly meet someone that you just connect with. If you have parted from a soulmate in the past, then if you have very effective communication and you communicate really well, you may reconnect. It's like what I said earlier. That's a possibility. Um, once again, it's up, it's up to the communication. I'm a psychic reader, so I like to stick with the positive stuff that's coming. Uh, um, unless spirit tell me otherwise, but... If, if you are craving um, more positive friendships, partnerships, anything when, whether, where it's got to do with other people, um, this week's actually a really good week for it should you use positive communication styles. Tit for tat, tug of war. It's got, that's got to finish. So if you fall in that category, try to mop that up this week. Or they just said to me, even if you can't physically do something to change any situation, there may be old residual energy that you're just holding on to from the past, like that person or thing or may not even still be in your life. They're saying find some way to find peace in it, to find peace with it, within yourself. Typically, I like to forgive, forgive the person, forgive myself. Forgiveness is a really great way of doing it. Yep, so make a wish, make a wish, make some choices. Where are you heading? Where are you going? Are you deliberately creating your life or are you creating by default? Which means, oh, what will come will come. What will be will be. You know, that kind of thing. Be careful where your thoughts are going. Playtime. This is actually a really good week for playtime. Find something that floats your boat. Find something that actually raises your vibe. People think you've got to go into these big spiritual practices just to get some relief in life. It's not. Just get out there and have a bit of a play. You know, it's the joy that creates your miracles and manifestations. So create some joy in your life. And especially, I did that post today. If you look back on your life, it's so easy to go back and look at all the crap that's happened. But the problem is, is that when you go back and you focus on there or think about these things, you're keeping it active in your vibration and in turn you're you're manifesting it in different experiences in your future. We're really encouraging people to stop doing that. Sit down one day and do a list and try to pick out 10 things from the past that really lit your soul up. You know, for me, it was um, the birth and raising my children and watching them grow and getting my license and the freedom that it felt having my own car and um, for family holidays, you know, just remembering the amount of sand that we used to bring into the bathtub and that and, yeah, just... Just all the little things. Just go back and look at all that sort of stuff because that's it's better. You're better off being in that vibration. That's the vibration of love and acceptance, so you can manifest more of the same for yourself in the future. Oh, there we go. So yeah, we just got friendships. So maybe some of you are just changing your whole friendship circles, or maybe if you're in a strained relationship, you're better off going back to be friends and see where it goes from there. Or at least, once again, I just, I just get this feeling like I've just got to be more mature. Just got to take the higher ground. 
um, just be a bit more respectful to people. So, you know, if you're going to choose that tip for tat, you're wrong, you're right. And, and see, I'm, I've had so many life experiences that I'm beyond all that bullshit now. Like, I just can't, don't have time for it. But if you're still sort of doing that, yeah, make a date for play um, with one or more of your friends. So, playtime and friendships. Yeah. Um, we just got yes too. So if you, you're being intu intuitively told something or being guided somewhere, the answer is yes for you. I just feel like I need to pull one more. Whoop, we'll go that one. Yep, empowerment. It's time to rise above the ashes. Okay, so at the end of the day for this week, Please know that whatever you're focusing on and whatever you're putting out, the, out to the universe is gaining momentum, whether it's positive or negative. Communication is key, absolutely key. Watch your words, watch the way you talk to yourself, watch the way you talk to others. Try to settle issues and problems before they gain too much momentum and it turns into a shit show. Otherwise, it will turn into a shit show with the fiery climax that approaches. <laughs> so there is a bit of time we're trying to prevent that, so to speak. But it's up to your own maturity and communication skill level, I suppose. If you feel lost or lonely or disillusioned or anything, just hold your vision. That's all you need to do. You need to go to where you want to be in the future vibrationally within your, within your feeling space before you even go there physically. So don't think because you're not there physically yet that you're doing anything wrong. You're not. And I've put the tarot away, so that was all good. <laughs> and then just know that a new start is coming. At the end of April, I guarantee you those who are deliberately creating the life they desire, you guys are going to receive an unexpected opportunity, which is going to make you take a leap of faith. It, it is probably going to come in hard and fast and sudden. So make sure that you're ready for that. It's very exciting no matter what it is. I feel like I'm receiving something and I, I just feel like, it's like I'm, I'm home alone and I don't know who to tell. You know, everyone's at work or everyone's busy and I'm going, I've got to tell someone, I've got to tell someone. And I just feel so excited because it just happened so fast. And I just, it's kind of like you knew it was coming because it's something that you've put out there, but you weren't expecting it. You were expecting it, but you weren't expecting it to happen when it, when it happened. So that's really exciting too. So yeah, that's what I get for you guys this week. I hope that all made sense. Pop a question or a comment down below. Please, the more that you comment and like and subscribe and share and all that sort of stuff, the, the better it is for me because I'm an energy reader. I read energy, not necessarily people's thoughts and all that sort of stuff, so I need the energy. But whoever whoever's energy is on this page, I hope that all made sense for you. And yeah, and if you would like to kindly donate to my for my time and effort and whatnot, you can do that so in my About section. You can book a reading on my website through my About section. Um, yeah, everything you need is in my about section. So I am about to go and have a coffee. So I hope that made sense to you all. I love you all so much and I'll see you again next week for a follow-up. Have a good one guys. Bye.